The ideal role for a revenue manager in a hotel today is really a hub. It's a hub of, of information and a hub of decision making that, that surrounds fundamentally the operations of the hotel, uh, the hotel customers, the sales team, and it's a person that um, in, in being very effective in that role needs to be an excellent communicator. Uh, someone who's able to explain at a high level why these, these very rational decisions are being made around taking a certain piece of business or steering the hotel towards certain segments. So it's very, very interesting. And people often say, oh, the revenue manager is someone who's good with numbers, but it's someone who's good with people more than anything else. From my own experience, we implement revenue management culture, get everyone on board and try to explain what is revenue management and what do they do and how, why it's so important to get together in a meeting and talk about revenue management. It's, it's really, in a sense, a, a sales job within the hotel to share their knowledge, their insight and information, and then share that with everybody to let people make effective decisions. So when everyone is on board, understand the basic of revenue management, and it's like magic. Everything will happen uh, very easy, and uh, communication will be easier, and Sooner or later you see everyone going to this revenue manager and asking for advice, asking how can we do this and what are we going to do. A lot of people see the role of the revenue manager as someone who looks at all this data around demand and says, okay, well this is the price it should be. But it goes way beyond that. It's also, well, how many people should we have working in the hotel? Is this period of time, a good period of time to maybe shut down some rooms and do some renovations and like this? So. It's, it's becoming um, something that's critical to running the hotel. The revenue manager plays a very important role in the hotel um, industry right now, especially on the property level, by increasing the bottom line, which is the net profit of, for the owners. And that's what the owners right now want, it's net profit, how they increase. And the revenue manager plays a big role by changing the price and pricing strategies and has direct impact on the bottom line, which is the EBITDA, for example. So there are some statistics which say, like if you increase, for example, ADR by 10%, and has a direct impact on the net profit by 15%. So, and who does this? Is the revenue manager. When it was in the past, when revenue was still coming from a lot of reservation uh, managers moved into revenue management, um, the skill set required by hiring people was always on the numbers. But this has changed. Um, nowadays, if you're hi hiring someone with an affinity for numbers and great analytical minds but no communication skills, this person might not be as successful as somebody um, where maybe the analytical skills can be trained, but is a great storyteller. So that's kind of where we're looking for now in the people who can talk, who can communicate, who can engage the audience. It is natural that when you when you are analytical and you want to go into an area like revenue management that you uh, put a lot of focus on your technical skills. I think that's that's a fundamental, it's like a hygiene factor, it has to be there. Uh, but definitely spend some time to uh, be a strong communicator, build up on your uh, communication and your influential uh, oratory skills and at the same time as well build up some confidence and some knowledge about the industry that you want to go into. One of the main opportunities really in being able to go and be a revenue manager is being able to understand people and their behaviors. Um, why do I say that? It's mainly because that's what we're trying to go and anticipate in terms of being able to actually go and maximize the top line revenues of the hotel. So the more you know about the customers of whichever industry or company that you are uh, excited to join, then the better a revenue person you will be. In the past, uh, data gathering took a lot of time. There's a lot of report creation without really, for the right dimension, time to analyze reports and making sure they do the right decisions. But now, with so many data out there, um, the consolidation of data in an automated environment uh, helps the hotel to concentrate on the things that matter. Gone are the days that you actually need to go and number crunch um, day in and day out. And that's not your prime responsibility now. Your prime responsibility is be able to go and take a look at the figures and understand what the opportunities are, 
communicate this to the team and be able to go and um, implement those initiatives and monitor the result. Technology has also really changed the face of hospitality and it's changed the face of a lot of service industries. Uh, so the area of revenue management is sort of a natural transition or, or, or how do you say progress from just simple demand forecasting and pricing. It has moved into the area of uh, understanding digital marketing and how to optimize that. Uh, it's truly moved into the area where you are not just looking at optimizing a single reservation, but you're looking at understanding a uh, optimizing the total customer value and not just at a point in time, but now the technology with big data and with analytics, it allows you to actually look at total customer lifetime value. Technology has actually made the um, revenue management and especially the distribution landscape nowadays um, much, much more dynamic. In some ways it has been more challenging, but ultimately from the past five years to now, technology has definitely went and helped uh, revenue managers um, in terms of being able to go and analyze and evaluate the business. It is thought that technology would, you know, um, sort of be a, uh, make, make revenue management redundant, but that's been nothing further from the truth. There's still a lot of local knowledge which the system can't really understand. So if you think back a generation ago, Revenue management didn't really exist as a, as a structured uh, profession within the hotel industry. The revenue manager play an extremely big role in the hotel. Usually first was like more involved rooms and was pretty much hidden and do his own uh, work. Nobody know understand what they're doing, but now it's more involving as a total revenue management. And now it's become more complex. It's you really have to watch, for example, the reputation management. What are the guests talking about your hotel? So he uh, go to the front office and say, we really have to deliver you know, great customer service because it will affect our pricing. I cannot increase our price if our customers are not happy with our service. So it's, uh, it's all combining together and it's a one piece, but basically everyone play a big role. It's like in the music, you know, so in orchestra. Everyone has to be on the same tone to deliver nice, uh, you know, music, uh, and so the guests can hear it very well. And it's actually conducted by the revenue manager. We always talk about the revenue manager, but the key there is profit. And I think where there's going to be an evolution is when we go away from calling it revenue management to maybe calling it profit optimization because revenue management has this sense that it's only looking at revenue and we, all, we often think about room revenue, but then you start to look at, well, if we're looking at food and beverage or we're looking at function space, those have different uh, profit um, factors. So, uh, you know, your cost will be much higher on food, uh, function rooms, you know, again, you might have very low cost in a function room, but so, so that shift to profit optimization is, is a very uh, is a very good thing you brought up so my suggestion is try to go and look for opportunities in being able to actually go and expose yourself in operational jobs whether or not it's in a restaurant in a front office um, capacity. Another interesting opportunity would be sales and marketing jobs because the main role of sales and marketing is actually being able to go and grab those revenue generating opportunities out there and interact with people to go and sell the hotel. Uh, there are a lot of um, opportunities in the industry right now in being able to go into a revenue analyst job. Before it was only a director of revenue or a revenue manager, but now there are those entry level jobs that they can use as stepping stones to be able to become a director of revenue management. In the world today, we've built a, a very much um, an expectation of immediate returns. And I think the most important thing for people that want to make a bona fide career out of hospitality, specifically in revenue management, is feel comfortable to invest the time to um, be able to capture the knowledge as they move forward and the experience because the experience you can't replace and you can't condense experience. Use this time in 
school to be able to actually go and be curious and really identify the trends and opportunities um, like out there. And um, that will give you the tools to be able to be in revenue management. However, one thing that is often overlooked is going to be the people factor and the communication factor because the initiatives will only be initiatives. Um, it's only going to be in paper unless you actually go and communicate them and be able to establish um, results. And revenue management ultimately is going to be a decision-making process. It's a decision-making process based on facts and figures, what's right and what's wrong to be able to go and generate revenue and with enough hard work as well as um, being able to take advantage of the different opportunities, um, there's definitely a lot of uh, good roles out there for a revenue management career. It's, it's a really fun field. It's something that's constantly growing. Um, anyone who is interested in, their fee in this field uh, would be someone who is interested in understanding consumer behavior, um, someone who definitely likes um, analysis and numbers um, but more importantly I think it is someone who has the ability to take numbers and convert them into words. Revenue management honestly is completely a way of thinking, it's a way of life.